The 25 de Marzo area is a famous shopping district in Sao Paulo. Synonymous with discount shopping and large crowds. But Osorio de Andrade says things have changed in the last year as recession took over Brazil's economy. Our sales have dropped 40%. I'm working less and I have already fired three people. I don't want to because I want to preserve jobs, but it's difficult at times like this. Michel Temer became Brazil's interim president on Thursday after the Senate suspended President Dilma Rousseff from office. Analysts say the political and institutional crisis are adding to the economic difficulties Brazil is facing today. About a year ago, it was difficult to walk around this area because of the amount of people that used to come here. The situation has changed now. One of the reasons why Dilma Rousseff's popularity has dropped to around 10% in recent years is because of the economic crisis. It is estimated that around 11 million people are unemployed in Brazil right now. Three million of them have lost their jobs in the last year. Marlúcia Brasileira lost her job a few weeks ago. She worked as a maid, but now is desperate to find something else. Doing so, she says, is not easy. It's so hard that I can do anything I find. As a cook, as a cleaner, taking care of someone, I hope the new president will make it easier to find a job. Brazil went from being a success story six years ago to its worst recession in decades. The drop in prices of commodities like oil and the soya bean have hurt the economy, but also, as many say, the mishandling of public coffers. Brazil's new finance minister, Enrique Meirele, says the necessary measures will be announced at the right time. It is important that our measures are announced when they are well developed and have real potential to be approved by the National Congress. But economists here say Michel Temer does not have a lot of time. Reducing the physical deficit by decreasing money spent on some social programs, increase some taxes, it is not nice, but it needs to be done. But doing so could also spark more political instability. That's why economic recovery could take a while, as what happens politically here will certainly have an impact on many of the economic policies ahead. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Sao Paulo.